Okay. Hello guys. <sighs> Hello. You really thought we wouldn't come up with another feeling? Guess what? Look. Look at it. Beautiful. Oh. Because I thought about these things, you know, a wee bit past the first half of it. The chapter is on its way, you are releasing soon, and suddenly to do it here, me. So, before we, before we start it, let's go over the rules. Alright, so, anyway, first, first, I will, I will rank it the map, each map in terms of, I will rank one map in terms of the side. It when, when I on the other hand, Josh will rank the ending, but then we'll switch where I will I rank the ending, you will rank the map and design. Like, basically, we're gonna switch positions every map. Right? I Our think map I map. should rate the maps in terms of in terms of design, and you should rate the maps and the endings because I don't really all of the endings mostly look. Like the the same level of detailedness for me. Also, oh, we also this time things are changed. You're gonna also be ranking the map in terms of fairness. You're gonna also be ranking the map in terms of fairness and difficulty. And after the map, we finish our doing the each map. We'll give it a rank, rank on a scale of one to ten, one out of ten. If it's ten, then it, it's perfectly good. If it's five, it's not bad. And if it's not one, no. Just no. Get out of here. Why don't we start it? <laughs> now we don't know what the rules. Josh, why don't you do this? And I'm not gonna box you around it and just tell you what you think of the map. I'm just gonna let you review it on your own. Well, I think it's it deserves probably an average because it doesn't really have any good design. It's just a basic design piggy map because well, it just doesn't have much design features to it. Yeah, that is correct. Now the cutscene. The cutscene is the interesting part. Overall, we review that as Rashi's parents had and that Bill has set another base. However, it was lost due to the creation of a new infection that has caused disaster. Um, we get more into detail into that and then you find I doubt more about in the later chapters. The later chapters will reveal a lot about me. But for now, we don't know anything, and plus, it's just the start of the story. So, of course, chapter one and You don't have to make chapter one absolutely outstanding, but the maps are going to get way better in design as we move on. Anyway, overall, what would you give this map on a scale of 1 to 10? Wait. With, with with what? The map on a scale of one to ten. How would you rank it? I would give it a five out of ten. And I'm giving it a seven out of ten for story. I mean, it's I'm only giving it seven out of ten for story because it only just started. We don't know anything yet, but the story's gonna get way more interesting. All right, so chapter two. Um, Josh. And I think oh. I'm looking to review this. Wait. Myself. Well, chapter 2 would, would probably I'll be good. Chapter 2. Now, Chapter 2 is definitely a step up. Yes, it's definitely. It's definitely a step, step up from Chapter or, or 1. It has no. It's, it's a lot scary. more unique designs. It should probably go in astronomical, but not outstanding. It so, before we go on to getting into more detail about what we think the map, what does that strong astronomical will typically mean? It means that, it, um, it means basically that it's a very good map, but 
it's not. But it still has the minor ball that it's still putting um, it one back down below. Oh, oh, our seating. And even some of the well designed and balanced maps can have issues. They're not going to be perfect, you know. Mm. Anyway, let's get into further detail. Josh, you can explain about the design. Wait. Now. Wait, what? You can break the map in terms of design now. Why is it astronomical? Because, well, it's a step up from the previous designs of the map. It's not a major step up, but it's enough to take it from an average to an astronomical. The thing is that the design, um, the design has stepped up. It is a little more. It, it the one thing that made the design step up is that the place is actually labeled with notes. That's one of the ways, and the, there are a few others, but I don't. Now the ending of you, you don't remember the the bunny calls you on the radio or in the previous chapter and he she tells you that she's gonna send someone to help you however you get into an argument with Lilo. Willow's just saying that he doesn't trust she doesn't trust them. And she's being like a person who's trying to stand up for us and protect us, saying that hey Hey guys, we don't even know these people. We don't even know if we can trust them. We don't know what they can do to us. We don't even know if they can be lying or not. Hey, they're really trying to protect us. But of course, that you, the player, or doesn't isn't really he he is seeing a real side doesn't really he agree with it. But the player doesn't even understand it. And the danger. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Bunny Pony actually manages to stop the argument. It, it says that maybe he, he caught a thing, got a thing on the radio. Well, basically, Bunny tells us that help is arrived, not the person that can to help with is often our doggy. He tells us a lot about him and what he was doing and what he was doing in the group and that the bunny had made. But he said that there's basically no time to explain that he isn't a cop anymore. He said that he's gonna take us to the storage chamber. So, um, with that out of the way, how would we rank how would you rank this map on a scale of one to ten? Well, it's it's definitely um I think a seven out of ten might be two points is not that big it, it's not that big of an in increase it's compared to five it, but hey it's better than nothing and plus it's it's a it's a lot better than what we saw in chapter one. Now, chapter three. Yes, chapter three. So, All right. I think chapter so, three. I think chapter going... three. Chapter three is going right up in our seating, and you would already know. First, I thought I will... we're doing average because it's. Well, actually, it's okay no. In terms if, you of the at, if you look closely at the image on the map, if, if if you played the map before, you look at the design. It is very well made. And, it is clearly down to a lot of work anticipated, with anticipated mapping, and okay. it's a pretty good one. And, and, and let me just say that the Piggy Series 3 that are turning, in this series, the design has definitely improved a lot, and it has made a big improvement in this series. Big ones. I mean, major improvements to the point where the design's actually really good. Eh? 
Hmm. Now let's see what you think. What's your side? Well, I think, um, unlike you, I think that actually the design is not actually that that good. But it's, but it's definitely better than yeah. Chapter Two. But it's definitely better than it's definitely better than chapter um, that chapter where there's just yellow everywhere. Um, whatever, and the only chapter that's an average right now, that chapter I'm referencing. So it probably goes in astronomical, but it is slight improvement. Now, let's think about the story for a moment. The story's a lot to explain. And so, let's just see the story with a quick. Uh, anyway, the story is, is you are, you and the rest of the group who, who are ready to meet he did thus, a person who was calling you on the radio, who, but then don't he, you realize that the player or is uh, gone, like you cannot find him. They wonder where he is. However, the player ends somehow ends up on the roof of a building. How do you get lost? I mean, how do you understand? You know how the player could get lost since you know, do you know how big the chamber is? It's pretty big. Now, but before we get more than three let me just explain that this map is not very big, it's pretty small. It does not go around and very well. However, the map only takes around 19 minutes. It's, well, the other two chapters take around 20 minutes or more to beat. So it's definitely, it's definitely somewhat easier than the previous chapters. Okay. Now, back to the story. You meet up with Tyree, one of the members that you came across in the factory in refinery, and the guy who was chasing you. We tell you some really bad news. One of your friends, Lizzie, Lizzie, who was infected, infected from the previous infection, not this new one. Lizzie, that one of he's gonna be. One of the very few members to be infected by this match. What he also kind of states about this infection, where also keep in mind that this is, this is getting very, things are going to get very interesting. It's, he says that the infection will target the first, the strongest his people, then the weak, which is, which is a little off. Right? That's kind of strange. So something's definitely going on with the new infection. It's definitely, it's definitely shown to be a lot more powerful. He also says that it's already infected millions in just one day. That's pretty powerful, you know. That's insane. Anyway, you need to be telling you that you need to watch out for your friends and telling you that basically, you know. It being, if you don't want one of your friends dead, you're going to have to work with him. Of course, the player doesn't want to. Doesn't want to. And of course, time begins to be something that the player is not going to survive. The infection based on how powerful it is. I mean, if it's getting infected million just one day, who knows how long it'll take. To get to the rest of the group, eh? you know something bad can happen. And hmm. Well, and but then a doggy eventually finds you, and he wanted where you were. Basically, he tells you that bunny buddy can beat you. She, she didn't really decide to beat you. Got now it was a bunny, and you got to have a little talk. Hey, how about? She said, that, hey, why don't we go to an auditorium, eh? I mean, so we, we he can and find some um, subjects on the new infection there. He, she said she's pretty sure that it, the infection is strikes in that location, and there should be some information about it. 
Hmm. Well, let's go to the next one but now. Ew. And, but then, uh, we'll also joke about how uh, the player has made so many friends that will eventually become a celebrity at the, at, at the rate that they're going. At the path they're going, I mean, it's kind of funny. But then the player states that in crack, I'm already in the infamous city. I mean, the player has lost many friends. Once popular, it was pretty well known, or he or she was very well known. But then, yeah, it's not, she's not really well known anymore. Not anymore. I think that's enough story. Yeah, the story that. Also, that was a really scene. long story. I think we need to go to the next one now. I have something really. I have something really good to say, really bad to say about the next one because, well. Don't spoil anything. Now, chapter four. I can't it's believe I'm saying this, but. It's a disappointment. Then the first chapter to ever go only in the very bottom category. Let me say why. Basically, it, it, it's a major step down um, from the cha previous chapter. The time really is not that good. Yeah, I, I'm literally laughing at it right now. Literally, at most it. of the walls are painted red. There's nothing but it really sense interesting sense about it. It's really annoying and hard. Red walls. Most theaters have red walls, so that, at least it, there's that. But it's not like the design is that. It's a two garbage. It's just that it's, it's not even that good to be anywhere up here with these. And there's a lack of color variety. There's mostly just black. I mean, no, no, red. I meant to say red. Mostly just red everywhere. <laughs> and also, do you want to know? It's boring. Well. First of all, which map do you think is the biggest in the series? I say chapter one, and chapter one is definitely one of the biggest maps to come out. But, but there are over three boards in the map, and it, it's not easy to get lost in the map, but it can also be a little bit tight at times. But I give this map credit for being in a very tight map at times. This map can be pretty tight and hard to dodge. Also, this map introduces more codos, which will most definitely be solved at, at some point. It, also, the reason why I'm not bringing the map in story is simply because I am gone to making the cutscene for this map yet. The map doesn't even have a cutscene, so this is just the incomplete version of the tier list, where some of the chapters won't really have story yet. What they do, once the chapters 1 through 7 do have story, yeah, I will most likely write that in terms of story. So, yeah. The map is overall a 3 out of 10. And Actually, I would give it a 1 out of 10 if I could rate it. It's, it's a 1 out of 10 for me because, well. I can't believe it. It, it, it just I sucks. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't deserve its existence. But it is. But the, hey, the map is basically a piece of shit. Hey, no curse words. Okay, I will definitely not be able to put this in the video as kid friendly based on what you just said. But it's true, that's the only way I can describe it. Now, chapter 5. This is easily one of these. Yep, it's a good map. Yes, it's a really good map. It's what the first. Do, do you want to know what character we meet? Tell them what character we meet. Wait, the... but first, but first, let me explain the design of why it's a really good map. The, the, it's the first, and it, it, I actually came up with the idea to add um to add some good-looking walls around the around the map and they look really good and it's, um, and it's designed off of the walls 
um, that would go around a military base, and um, and then we also have some futuristic walls added at near the escape point and at the escape point, and. You wanna know what character we meet in this chapter? Tell me what character we meet. We meet we the scientist, meet. John. Scientist John. We finally meet him. We finally meet a scientist that was mentioned in one of chapter four's notes. It sounds somebody hired it. A scientist is to help study the cure. And almost that person was real to be funny at this point. He, a lot of things are gone. I mean, the cutscene in in is. I mean, the cutscene. No one was expecting to meet the scientists in this case, in this uh, chapter. Nobody. Um, it killed. But after scientist John, but the one thing we're gonna know about scientist John. Is that he's a very chatty person. He talks so much. Also, he's supposed to be very smart, too. Ooh. It's just understandable. But then, you, before he can continue with speech, he gets interrupted by the, a, the sound of a giant explosion. And, there was also a note that revealed that the military was planning something, and, and obviously it was the bombing that they were planning. They were planning to bomb the base, but we don't know why they were bombing the base up until chapter six is cutscene, which we won't get into that since we didn't we didn't get to rank that yet. So, anyway, chapter six. A very um, anyway, very the story is uh, pretty good. And Bunny calls the new scientist John the radio saying that basically, hey, we're in danger. Um, uh, um, like somebody's attacking from underneath. It, it, and we don't know who it is, but it can't be good. That she's not. It, it cannot be the any good sign. Um, this map take uh, chapter chapter six takes place underground and. Alright, now, would you rank this map on a scale of 1 to 10? And personally, it deserves a, well, a, a 9 out of 10. Because, it's only because the cutscene is pretty chill, and it's not very well, action I think, I think chapter 5 deserves a 10 out of 10, because, it's, well... It's only getting a 9 out of 10 because the, the cutscene isn't very action-packed, and I think if you like action-packed cutscene, it's over very calm cutscenes where nothing really happens. <laughs> nothing really happens. Nothing's really action packed in the cutscene aside from the bombings. But before we get to the. Before we move on to chapter 6, it, he, John said that, that, the, that you will have. that he's gonna come with you to go oh, down to the facility. But little do you know that, that, that there's something off around the facility, and you're gonna find this out. Now, finally, chapter 6. Wait, but hold on, before we get to chapter 6, let me just say that this map has some very good lighting. The map has a very, has noticeably a very good lighting. It does a good job with that. Anyway, chapter 6. This chapter, or, while many people thought this was going to be in a facility, guess what? It's a graveyard. And it's underground, which is very weird for a graveyard to even be at. It's very weird for it to have a graveyard. Wanted to know, so graveyard. the reason why the... Everything about this they... map is unexpected and weird, but that that's what makes it a, very, um, a good map. Anyway, this map is definitely going in outstanding, but it's going right behind Chapter 5. In terms of design, it's, good it's, good, it's, it's very good, but still not as good as Chapter 5. It's, um, um, and we even have the ex, ex, some explosion sounds installed into the So, basically, the attention to detail in this map is... It sounds like the military is bombing the place. 
No, first of all, uh, when the, the reason why you're going down the graveyard is because number one, a known cat survivor knows, knows that scientists the scientists actually found on the gravestones underneath his lab and, and he dug up actually managed to dig up a graveyard. But, and he for some reason this I think he, he basically built some um, walls that holds over uh, the graveyard so people wouldn't know it that it was there. But if you look on the bridge, you can, uh, on the other side of the bridges that you cross across, that are going over some water, you're going to be see some um, very uh, old looking concrete these walls. Wait, can I say something? Can I say what? something? What? Well, across the bridge there is a lab, and inside the lab there is a design feature that I'm very proud of. The um, the um, the machine that holds the uh, the mutant within it, the um, the mutant piggy. Basically, it there's not the bridges in the graveyard. The I mean, inside. the bridges that are in the facility. The, the facility yeah. area that is separate. Also, yeah. when we thought that the facility was gonna be a big map, honestly, the facility part of the map is actually very tiny. It's not even that big. The graveyard turns out to be a lot bigger than you think. Anyways, the small it's an abandoned the the abandoned lab has this container for grandmother pig, and there's and there's some experiment being run that, that is being run in grandmother pig. Do you, think green they, acid. do you think they were studying on the new infection? Yes. And there is t this green acid. That was that will kill you if you touch it. The containment unit, and that was most likely being used to kill. Most likely being used to kill or infect the mutant. Probably no, to kill them, but it didn't. But for for some reason, it didn't work, and the mutant just. And the mutant also has the ability to go to go through and to to hit through the the. Containment yeah, unit. So if you, so if you go, if you touch the containment unit, you will die because you either touch the green stuff or piggy will, the piggy will get you because also, well, since there's a water it just the it just kills you. So don't touch it. So since there's, I never explained this before, but if you didn't know these things, if you look out some windows, both in the facility part of um, of the map, eh? you're actually gonna notice some water there. That is because it has come to the conclusion that this it's a graveyard is right turns out to be right next to a cavern and that has some water or a lot of water. So we're not next to an ocean. And the cavern just has a lot of water around it. It's so that means that so this can only mean one thing. The graveyard is located right next to a cavern, which is quite interesting. No, but it's also pretty good. Also, in the assumed sense that there seems to be no other way to the sh to the main base, it's a, it's a, the shelter or map. It seems that the at the lab, the lab is the only way to get back, eh? back to, to, to up to the main in, um base. It's, so the base is pretty, pretty clear that the base is hard to reach, eh? it's, and you have to go through the graveyard or to get out anyway. Well, yes, you do it's have. weird. Well, now, this map story, let's get to that. And the map story is very well in the intro. I've seen story with a lot of details. And it's revealed that Fudgy, the, the cat that gets in my uh, in chapter 8 of book 2, is revealed that he's She's is the general of the military and is responsible for, for the bombing. The reason why she's the, the way 
Find his John Axe to stop not bombing the place. It's like, what did we do wrong? We did nothing. But she has a good reason for this. The influence of Overseer, her other aka Doom the Man, which if you want to be able to call him, him is many person who offers you the ability to see family that you lost. Family again that you lost and and if you do accept the offer, he's gonna take control of you and he's gonna make you feel guilty for all your actions. And, and she easily used to trust him, but now she didn't. She doesn't trust him anymore. She's trying to, those bombings are a warning signal to tell you that. They're trying to get your attention, say that the, the infant or the or is gonna come to you, it's gonna come in and try and get revenge on you. And, and, and basically, you're in, you're gonna be in danger. Are very soon. And this is very interesting. Then, and Bunny actually manages to get to come back to the base. Yeah. She makes it out alive. Oh, I forgot to mention Chapter Five that the supply run that she went on, the place that she did the supply run at, it was being bombed too. So, do you think that was the military that was that's doing that? Hey. Well, most likely. Most likely, it was. Alright. Now, that is... Anyway, uh, Bunny tells you... That we've should, made, currently. We should go check on... We should go check on the, um... The other survivors. It turns out they make it out okay. The, the Budgie knows where the infant's overseer is gonna head, and she's... They're... She's usually headed into the, her military base, and now we're going to try and stop him before it's too late. So we have to go to our boat industry. Now, the trailers, I don't know these up real quick. They're interesting. Okay. Oh, Let's do this really quick. Anyway, the trailers they get very interesting into detail. Basically, the first trailer tells you this is it seems to be the influence overseer. It says, I came here just to let you know that you are so much more capable than doing things than you think you are. Who do you think this is that is saying that? Aside from